Hey y'all, so welcome back to Movement Link. This is part two of uh, learning how to get from the burpee, jumping into the kipping pull-up for burpee pull-ups. And this can be chest bar, regular, you can even use this with burpee bar muscle-ups. But uh, there's a few different styles. The main two uh, are gonna be, as we jump up, we're trying to land in the middle of the kip. And the difference between the two is just which part of the kip we need to go into or we're trying to land into. So we did another video where we're trying to jump backwards and we're trying to land with momentum going up in the jumping position. So then we can just hip throw and pull up. Uh, so I'm not gonna bother doing the burpee. I actually just got done with the workout. So if I do too many reps here, I'm just gonna get out of breath and you're just gonna hear me panting the whole time. But in this first style, and again, we have another video on that, and I'll just talk about this real fast before we move on to the next style. I'm gonna jump up and back, and I'm gonna try and keep my momentum going up as I land in the jumping position so I can throw my hips up. So if I'm starting in front of the bar here, just jumping back, trying to use that momentum to throw the hips up. So, whew, I touched just two, I didn't even do the burpee, already out of breath. So uh, the next style is gonna be jumping into the arch swing so I can swing and go. So remember the main thing we're trying to avoid is the jump up, swing to do a pull up. It's so much more time having to support your body weight hanging from the bar. It takes so much longer. Just not worth the effort because these other ways are not harder they just take more skill and, and better understanding of what that kipping pull-up is. So remember, the kipping pull-up is that arch. We swing into that jump position. We throw the hips and pull. Doesn't matter if we're doing a butterfly. Doesn't matter if we're doing the C-kip. It's going to be the same thing. So now in this next style, instead of jumping and trying to land in the jump, I'm going to land in the arch so I can real quickly swing and actually do the whole thing. But I'm trying to avoid jumping up and having to do the entire swing. So I'm gonna jump up and kind of land in the arch so I can just swing my feet forward. Arch, swing. So that one was exaggerated. Arch, a swing. So it's almost like you're doing the butterfly pull up and you're jumping into it. Arch, swing. So that's really, really good for these really high jumping pull-ups, which really that's what we are looking for, about six inches or more over your reach. We're doing jumping pull-ups. The other one is gonna be better when you have a much lower bar, much easier, or you're fresher. So when you're really tired, you're coming up, and you can't quite get that full momentum and you need to like, you're almost barely getting there, that's when we're gonna go to this kind of slower style of landing in the arch, swinging, right into it. Hope that helps. All of it just takes practice. So first, work on the kipping pull-up on its own, and then figure out how to jump into these positions. But notice how I didn't do a single burpee, even though I'm practicing the burpee pull-up. So keep that in mind with your practice too. You don't want to wear yourself out. Work on the skill part, work on it, work on it, and then tie it into the full picture. Hope that helps. Talk to y'all soon.